year. Uh, I can mention that the state hired regional planning commission to assist with this. So basically what's in layman's terms in a relatively short period of time, can you explain to us what's in that, kind of, in that resolution? That's right. What we have here are all of the specifics concerning the different types of industries and the uh, problems involved. And this was put together over a long period of time. And when you look at the attendance sheets in there, you can see that uh, well done, very well done. You have that in the PDF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Any, th any questions on it? Uh, the commissioners uh, have already approved it. And the uh, commissioners have approved it with their, with their council. June, did you find something in there before on this, on mitigation? And it's done in 07, and it's resolution. You, Done in July of 07. July of 07. So this is basically a renewal of what we already have. So he was it done by the county in 07 and not the city? Do we uh, have to do we have to do this every two years to be eligible for FEMA? Is that the reason? Because it's 07 and now it's 09. Right. So. And as far as uh, let's see, the county and the city both had approved it last time also. And the four jurisdictions. So it be 2009 Make a motion that we adopt resolution 2009-3. Well, it says including the city of Grant. The very last, mm -hmm. the last line it says it's hereby adopted as the official plan of Decatur County. Including the city of Greensburg, Indiana. That would cover us. Right. And maybe that's the extent of the county. That way. Good bet. Good bet. Yeah. Maybe it was adopted in the county. Now, the county. But, but now we will have a resolution for the litigation. I don't find it as a more resolution. I'm sure you did. I'm in, I'm I don't have a copy of it in our program. Well, it's not in this book either. You couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. See, what she's saying is that yeah. That's the reason why I had Mark go down. So this will be the first time for us and we'll be covered independently from the county. And maybe it was under the county with the state of the same way. And they adopted it, which did you guys? Yeah. So that if it's just if it's going to be separate, that'll be our mitigation plan. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'd like to see that mitigation plan. Well, without it, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. You do you have this? Do you have this on the computer that you can email? It? Pardon? Do you, could you email this to us, or do you only have our guys? I think we can do that. Okay. But uh, Daryl, Council for Polling, has made a motion to accept Resolution 2009-3. Everywhere in this resolution, though, says County of Decatur. You should say the City of Greensboro, right? County of Decatur includes the City of Greensboro. But we, but we can't adopt a resolution for the county. Correct. Well, yeah, this is for yourself. But it all right. says... Greensburg as well. Right, but right. well, I'm, I'm saying, whereas in the Decatur County Emergency Fund, mitigation for the Decatur, for Decatur County, we can't pass anything for Decatur County. We can only pass it for the city of Greensburg. 
saying, I bet that's what it was done. I bet it was done that very same way in 07, and that's the reason why we didn't have it. Mm-hmm. it just but, but now they included the city of Greensburg in this. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know where it's at. Yeah, I've seen that, but but I, wouldn't we have been included anyway as a part of the county? Should be. That's why we think why we don't have a copy of the resolution that in 07, because the county accepted the point of the as well. And we have received funds through FEMA this yeah. year. So why would we be in this in addition to that? If you, well, until FEMA gets a resolution saying you like it, uh, you will not be eligible to apply for mitigation grants. Scott? Well, what we're talking about here as far as what we've gotten from FEMA is from a disaster that we've already had. What he's talking about is mitigation funds, which we could maybe apply for an upgrade to our siren system. Or we could maybe Mark could put in for something for flood controls. Uh, I know one of the projects we talked about was building a new, uh, some new grandstands at the fairgrounds, which would incorporate a hardened area that could be used as a tornado shelter during the fair. It's projects like that that you're, you know, you're, you're mitigate, trying to mitigate a problem out in front. That's a grant program that, that FEMA has. It's not reimbursements for disasters. It's, it's to try to get funds from out, out in the beginning before you ever have the problem. But if this is going to be a new, this isn't a resolution for us. It's not a renewal because June doesn't, we don't have any, so there's nothing we can do with this. Yeah, I think I think it was uh, you would, when you originally brought this. We were under the impression there may have been a resolution that was done in 07. And, and, and our records aren't showing that there is one on the books. So it would be better to, as we talked about earlier, is to publish this as part of the agenda, and then probably okay. cut this off to the next. We meeting. can do that. And of course. That would mean the next meeting is where you yeah. So this really okay. has this really has to do with uh, storms or emergencies. This is to do with preventive or trying to prepare as far as grants go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But for our reaction, this wouldn't we? Some of the language we, we would want to change. Yeah, I agree. Jamie, I like it. Happy city. Yeah. Because city. we're doing a city, right. not a county. Uh, who, who, who originally wrote this and then that included the city? At the well, end. this one, that came from the Regional Planning Commission. And of course, uh, uh, you can wait to do it the next time. There's no problem except could they possibly put the care county slash city of Greensburg? In the Good. If you want to revise it, that's fine. Sure. But I will be sending the others up uh, to Indianapolis this week. Because they've already been exercised. See, there's basically just a removal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they've done the Whitmore and Eligible to Scott. Yes. <laughs> so basically, we were never eligible for any mitigation when it comes to FEMA because we weren't on this plan unless the city of Greensburg was considered part of Decatur County's plan. And I we think, never applied for any flood. Well, excuse me. I was able to submit for a hazard mitigation after the flood, uh, and there was no question whatsoever when I chose to do that back in July. So did I. But, but yeah. what, Mark, what Scott was saying, though, was this is for grant things prior to some sort That's what of... this was. Disaster. This was not for recovery of funds that were expended because right. of the flood. This was hazard mitigation funds to try to rectify a situation so I wouldn't have the flooding again. I applied to have the culvert structure replaced under the railroad street, which affects the watershed from the street. They were welcoming me to go ahead to flood. They should have turned us down because of the mechanism of the project, but they did let us apply without any kind of plan in place whatsoever at that time. We were, we were able to apply for, for uh, civilian upgrades because of the light of the So then, you, I guess you might as well just take this copy here with you. 
I had copies, other copies.